Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord. How are you guys doing? I hope that you're having a very good day. I'm having a pretty good one myself, so uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are too. And today's video is going to be another Pokemon Brick Bronze uh, video regarding the new 8th gym update. So uh, it's only a couple of weeks until we will actually get this update. So this will continue the whole story saga of, you know, Pokemon Brick Bronze, which is very, very cool. And um, today I wanted to talk about a couple of Pokemon that will most likely or we will probably see in this update appear as well as a couple of legendary and mythical Pokemon um, so please do stay tuned throughout the whole video as I will be revealing those uh, a little bit later on too uh, but before we get into it guys don't forget to leave a like on the video as it does help me out and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to the channel come on guys what are you playing at um, okay so let's get into it anyway so um, as you guys know Lando actually revealed what the next route will look like in the 8th gym update and it looked pretty interesting to be honest. It looked like a very foggy swampy kind of looking map It looked like somewhere where Shrek would probably live to be honest. It looks pretty gloomy there and um when we actually compile a lot of the information we know about the 8th gym, or um, I think it's called uh, Crescent Island, I think. I can't even remember. I always forget. Um, but anyway, we can kind of assume that the Pokemon that are going to be here are going to be like kind of Team Rockety type Pokemon. Um, because of, you know, it's it's an island that has a lot of criminals and everything. And when you think about criminals in the Pokemon world, you kind of think about like Team Rocket, uh, Giovanni and stuff like that. So it is pretty much likely that we will see a couple of old Pokemon from the different routes reappear uh, with different skins and stuff like that and then we also will see a couple of Pokemon that have been associated with um, like evil teams in the Pokemon series which is pretty cool because I like a lot of the Pokemons uh, such as like Hyena I think it is it's like Hyena or something I, I don't know how to pronounce Pokemon names but yeah I'm pretty sure that he will be a Pokemon in the actual map itself um, so yeah let's get into it anyway guys let's get into what Pokemon we will most likely see in the actual um, in the new map itself so the first thing that we have is the one on screen right now and you guys know him he is called Krogunk, I think, and um, this is the poison frog type Pokemon. I'm, I'm not too sure if it is, is he like a fighting type poison too? Um, anyway, either way, he is definitely a poison type Pokemon, and I think personally this Pokemon could pop up, and a lot of people actually agree with me. In my last video, I asked a lot of people, what Pokemon do you think will be in the next route? I saw a couple of people say Krogunk, and uh, I really agreed. I was like, yeah, it's a, it's a toxic poison type Pokemon. Yeah, it'll, it'll most likely pop up here, because, you know, it's a swamp and you find frogs in swamp so yeah that's you know pretty self-explanatory i guess now, as apart from that, we are going to be sticking with a kind of poison type theme here because if you do look at the map again, you can see that, you know, there is a kind of green misty fog kind of stuff. And I don't know, even though it's not going to be poison, we know it's not going to be poison at all. Um, I just kind of assume that, you know, in a swamp, you would find like poisonous type things and stuff like that, like mushrooms and everything. And uh, maybe even some little critters too in real life. And... I guess the same can be applied to the Pokemon universe, you know? Uh, so the next Pokemon that we are going to be looking at is Coughing and Weezing. The original kind of Pokemon uh, that was associated with Team Rocket back in the day in the first series of the Pokemon games. Uh, whenever I would battle a Team Rocket type person, they would either have a Weezing or a Coughing. Uh, just because they kind of look evil and everything like that. Especially Jesse and James in the Pokemon series too. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that those guys either had a Coughing and a Weezing at one point. I'm pretty sure they did and you know what I really like these Pokemon I think they're pretty cool personally I think that they deserve their own Alola forms but they just kind of never did that in the 7th gen or 8th gen I can't remember what gen we're up to but yeah um, these Pokemon are definite favorites for being in this swamp I think personally we will definitely see these Pokemon and um, I'm not too sure if they've been introduced to Pokemon Brick Bronze yet but if they have I guarantee we will most likely see a reskin of them so like a different looking one um, which will be pretty interesting to see. Uh, the next Pokemon is a little bit off, um, and it is called, um, wait, what is this Pokemon called again? I think it's called Salandit. Yeah, it's called Salandit. Yeah, this Pokemon right here. And this is a newer type Pokemon. It's been in the last two Pokemon games, I believe. And um, yeah, it's a pretty interesting one indeed. I don't really know much too much about it. I never really caught it in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I saw it. I actually 
encountered it a couple of times, but I definitely did not actually like catch it or add it onto my team. But um, a lot of people thought that this Pokemon would definitely be in this swamp. I saw a load of people saying it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with you guys and say, yeah, this is probably gonna be a Pokemon that pops up because it kind of looks poison type. I think it is a poison type. It's like a fire poison maybe. Um, and of course, with that Pokemon will be the evolution, which is Salazzle. It kind of looks like a more like kind of, I don't know, like a more feminine type looking version of this Pokemon. I don't know. It looks like it's been to the hairdressers, got a full makeover and stuff like that. But two very interesting Pokemons that I think would be very good for this update. So personally, I say, yeah, guys, well done. This is a, uh, you know, that's pretty, that's a, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good guess on what Pokemon could appear in this update, guys. So yeah, I'm going to go with Salandit is definitely going to be one of the easier Pokemon to find in this area. Um, as apart from that, we do have another Team Rocket type -y Pokemon, which is Wobbuffet. I don't really remember how it says its name, but it's like Wobbuffet or something like that. Um, yeah, this Pokemon was another Team Rocket type Pokemon. I remember, um, I think it was in the second series of Pokemon uh, that was ever out. Um, Team Rocket actually had a Wobbuffet and it kept on like foiling their plans by like popping out to the Pokeball unannounced and it would just kind of mess things up at last minute for them. So very funny Pokemon. Um, I would love to see this Pokemon in the game to be honest. And I actually added this image because this is a very different Wobbuffet than all of the others. This one actually has like a little weird thing on its tail. Now I know that its tail was kind of like a separate Pokemon from Wobbuffet. It was like something, wait, was it like something that was biting its butt or something like that? Or was it just its tail had a happy face or something? Well, anyway, this person who designed this picture actually put, like, glasses on it, like it's from Turtle Squad, eh, or, you know, yeah, Team Squirtle or whatever. And I thought, you know what, if they made, like, di um, like alternative versions of this Pokemon, it would be cool if they actually added different variants of glasses onto the Pokemon's, like, tail thing. I don't know, that's just my opinion for something different about the game. Eh, but I think this Pokemon possibly could pop up in this area. Maybe, can you get it out of the water? I don't even know. Now that I think of it, Wobbuffet, what even is it? Like, seriously, it looks like a droplet of water got bit on the butt by a little black thing. And, yeah, I don't know. It's a very confusing Pokemon. I actually need to see what the Pokedex entry is for Wobbuffet. Um, but anyway, guys, now we're going to get into what Pokemon we will most likely see in this update that are going to be either legendary or mythical. I'm not too sure which Pokemon this is like what one of these Pokemon is so I'm gonna say legendary personally I don't think it's a mythical but the legendary Pokemon I do think we will see in this update is going to be Darkrai and um, this Pokemon has been wanted by a load of people for many months now all the time people are always asking like what when is Darkrai going to be entered into the game and every time we see some kind of creepy looking house or creepy area people assume that it's going to be a Darkrai in there but uh, unfortunately we haven't seen it yet and I think this will be a perfect place to actually add it into the game because uh, like like I said earlier the, the the area that we're going to be visiting it is is called Crescent Island and uh, yeah what is the opposite Pokemon to Darkrai of course Cressalia yeah I don't know if I've said that correctly or not but this Pokemon I think could possibly appear in the game and uh, like I said because the island is like a crescent moon and this Pokemon is called Cressalia I think that it could happen I think this could be the first place where we actually find these two Pokemon which will be extremely awesome by the way because I love Darkrai I remember catching it in one of the Pokemon games I was so happy I was crazy lovely about it and um, yeah I used it quite a lot actually uh, after I caught it from then on uh, but I know for a fact a lot of people will use this in PvP apparently it's really good or something in PvP PvP. I'm not too sure. I don't know. Don't judge me on this, guys. But, um, yeah, I do think that this is probably the perfect little team for some Pokemon that we will see in this area. Of course, there's going to be more because, you know, we can't just throw, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, six Pokemon at the most into an area. There needs to be, like, a lot more, you know? And especially... If two of those Pokemon are evolutions of the other Pokemon. So, re realistically, like, I mentioned one, two, three Pokemon that will spawn in this area. Whereas, you know, normally they would add around about, like, eight or something like that. I would hope that they add about eight and maybe one special Pokemon, such as, like, a Crystal Onyx. But make it something different, you know? Like a, like a Poison, Poison type Eevee or something like that. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Like, instead of it being, like, silver and uh, brownie, it would be, like... 
greeny and uh, purpley. I don't know. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you do have any suggestions for Pokemon that should be in this area, please remember to leave them down below. I would love to see them. And also, guys, I have a couple of videos coming up this week. Make sure to turn on notifications if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I just hope that you guys enjoy them. And if you guys are definitely hyped about the Fortnite content, please comment down below. I just want to see a lot of support about the Fortnite stuff. And uh, yeah, you guys can make that happen. So anyway, guys, have a very awesome day. And until next time, I mean Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.